What's up guys, it's Caitlin B and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a holiday video. You guys love the holiday videos. I love holiday videos. They're so fun for me to film and I'm so excited to bring you guys so many gift guides this season here on my YouTube channel and also on my blog at thecaitlinb.com. So check out my blog. I will link it down below because I have so many shoppable gift guides coming for you guys for all of the guys in your life, for your sisters, your mom, literally everybody. I've got you covered. But today's video is going to be unique gifts under $50. I want to put a little price cap on these because let's be honest holiday shopping and gift giving can be so freaking expensive it adds up so fast but I wanted to switch it up a little bit and give you guys some unique gift ideas because I just feel like there's so many gift guides out there and so many people just do the same thing year after year and it gets really redundant so I wanted to come up with little gifts that are kind of outside of the box and before I get on with the video I want to thank today's sponsor which is soft lips they are the cutest little lip balms ever I have used these since high school School, you guys and I'm gonna show you how they can be the perfect gift this season so let's hop on into it okay you guys my first unique gift idea under $50 is to give your friend or family member a stocking full of faves this is one of my stockings from last year I will link it down below if they still sell it but I think it's the cutest little thing ever and I mean who wouldn't want a fun little stocking I feel like everybody's stocking is something they've had since they were like two and it's just very dated I don't know about you guys but I've never like given a friend a stocking before so I think it'd be really fun to stuff these with all of your favorite beauty products and just like little items that aren't gonna cost you an arm and a leg. And of course, soft lips would be the cutest little gift to include in these. They have so many different flavors and types. They have natural ice and also like regular ones. They have shimmer and normal. They have SPF. They have no SPF. Possibilities are endless. They have so many fruity flavors. They have watermelon and also raspberry, which is the one that I'm actually wearing under my lip gloss today. You guys, it smells so good. <laughs> you guys are going to absolutely love this one. I think my favorite flavor that would have to be vanilla. It goes with everything. You know what I mean? I just love it. I never get sick of it. I've kept the vanilla soft lips lip balm in my backpack since high school, but they're just so slim and sleek. Like you guys can see, it's so tiny. So it fits really easily in your backpack, your bag, and also just even your pockets. If you've never used soft lips before, I mean, like their name, they literally are super soft and smooth and hydrating. It's not gonna give you that sticky lip balm feel. Like these would make amazing stocking stuffers because you can actually get them in a two pack. I don't have that one to show you guys, unfortunately right now, but you can get one like this and it has two of them in there. So if you wanna give your friend like a double, that's amazing. But if you're giving like multiple of your friends some gifts You can buy the two pack and then split it up between your friends Which is a great money saving hack and I mean who doesn't love lip balm? I would include this in that stocking for your friend Maybe get them a little initial necklace I think that'd be really cute and also like a little roller perfume you can get everything done in one trip If you're going to Target you can get these at Target you guys You can also find them on Amazon if you're doing a big Amazon shopping spree and also other drugstores as well So very very convenient my next gift idea is personalized stationery there there's something about personalization that everybody loves. Just knowing that someone found like your initial or got something with your name on it, I don't know. There's something about it just feels extra special. I think the holidays are the perfect time to give someone a new year agenda just because it's like a fresh start. So you could get a really cute 2019 agenda for that person. But if you give someone a planner with like their initial on it or even their name, I mean, that is just next level. Another idea is if you have been really good friends with that person for a long time and you have a lot of special memories together, or special dates that you guys like to celebrate, such as your friend anniversary. Buy them a new agenda and go through the dates. Like if you guys celebrate something on January 18th, you can just throw that in there with like cute little pink ink or something. Like make it really fun and stand out. And you don't even have to tell them that initially, you guys. Like just kind of sprinkle through the agenda when it's blank and just write all these fun little things. You can even add your own fun dates. Like, oh, we're celebrating this this day or we're gonna do this. It just gives them something to look forward to. And once they actually open it and realize that you did that, I think it's gonna be really special to them knowing that you put the time and thought into that. There are a couple planner and stationery companies that I have used and purchased from in the past that you can actually get your name on it or initial. So I will link those down in the description box below, ones that I've used and really loved. If you're running short on time, you didn't have time to go and order something online to get something personalized, or maybe it's too out of your price range, you can definitely just do a cute little set. Like go in store and find a really cute little 2019 agenda. I will link this one down below. I'm obsessed with it. Give them a planner and also some really fun matching pens made with a cute set on it. You can also get them a desk initial. This is also a really easy way to personalize something. And I got this one at Anthropology. And you can paint it too if they don't like gold or whatever. You can you can totally paint this. I'm sure Michaels has little initials that you can paint as well. It's like a little themed package. You know, it's like a boss babe thing. You can put this on your desk and they'll always think of you. Another personalized gift you could do is a wine glass or two. 
or three. Etsy has a lot of sellers that will customize literally any saying or phrase or word that you want on a wine glass. You can choose your font, your color, what you want it to say. It could be their name or even like a fun inside joke between you guys. Also, if you have a friend that you do wine nights a lot with, I think it'd be really fun if you got a matching set with them. And a lot of times you can go on Etsy and find like a set of two. So I think that'd be really cute if you guys got matching ones and that way you can kind of have the theme of like having wine nights together and using your custom glasses. They're less than $10 each, you guys. So this is a really affordable gift idea. And if you want to step it up a notch, I think the perfect compliment obviously to a wine glass is some wine, of course. And you do not have to go crazy with this. You don't have to spend, you know, $100 on a wine bottle. Like Trader Joe's has some amazing wines for literally $5, you guys. But if you want to give them something a little extra special, I love something like this, which is from Vine Box. And I discovered this recently and I think it's the coolest thing ever. This is what mine looks like and it has all these different wines that you can try and they're in this cool little tube. This one kind of looks like blood. Doesn't that look like I just got my blood drawn and threw it in a tube? Here's a white one, you guys can see it better. But I just think this is such a cute way to give someone wine and it's also like one glass of wine. I know it looks kind of small, but it is like an entire glass of wine in this thing. So how fun would that be to give them vine box and then you can just have a little wine night. Also, like I said, a great money saving hack is if you have a couple friends that you like to have wine with, or if you're giving someone like multiple friends these gifts, you could just split these up, like buy a wine box for yourself, and then you can give each friend like their favorite kind of wine. If they're a red girl, if they're a white girl, if they're rose, you can split them up and that way you have a cute little gift idea. I would throw this in a fun little bag, stuff it with some tissue paper or whatever so that it looks really cute and that way you can give all your friends the same gift, which is always really fun. Also, yes, my wine glass is Minnesota on here. I got this as a present actually for Christmas from my college roommate, Lisa, so. Thanks Lisa, still love this. Another gift idea is to give a plant. Flowers are always given on pretty much like any type of occasion, but how many times do people actually give plants? Like other plants that are not flowers. I feel like plants are so underrated to give as gifts, but honestly, if you think about it, it's so much more practical because they're so much cheaper than flowers and they last like as long as you'll take care of them. Plants are great for purifying the air and also your friends are gonna think of you every time they look at their little plants. So I have a couple tips for you guys if you do this. So instead of going to a trendy nursery in your area that's like on Instagram and super overpriced. You can actually find awesome plants at Home Depot. That's where we got like most of all of our plants. I think this one was like $8 or so. And depending on where you live, Trader Joe's actually has a really good selection of plants. I've seen some rubber plants over there. They were like three to $5, you guys. Definitely stick to low maintenance plants, such as a snake plant, because those are really easy to take care of. Since you can get an awesome plant like this for like five to $10, I think it would be really great if you gave them a little decorative basket to put your plant in. And that way it can be a little bit more personalized to that friend, and like you really put a lot of thought into it. If you're really crafty, you can honestly get just a terrible terracotta or ceramic planter and you can paint on it, which I think would be really fun. Or you can make one from clay if you are super fancy. But otherwise a decorative woven basket I think would be so cute. If you're struggling to figure out like where to even buy a decorative plant basket that you think your friend will love, I will list all my favorites down below because I'm always shopping for those. My next gift idea is to get them a map poster or print. I have been so into these lately, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram and look at my home tab, you guys have probably seen me post about this more than once. Once, but Alex and I got some of these map prints recently when we were in Soho and they are so cute We finally hung them up in our new place and we absolutely love them They are over here So I will do an overlay shot of them right here so you guys can see them But we got Milwaukee where Alex is from we got Los Angeles where obviously we live now and Minneapolis Which is my hometown if you guys love these as much as I do I will link the artist that actually does these ones down below He does so many things he doesn't just do cities, but he'll do states zodiac signs definitely go support him He does amazing work. I believe these are $25 and under, so I think this is a great idea if you have a friend that recently moved, maybe they got a new job. You could also keep on the same theme and give them a homesick candle from their old place as well. I love those candles, I think they're so fun. Even if you don't burn them, but just to have them. I've also been seeing Mapiful on my Instagram a lot lately, and I think that's such a cute idea. It's a very similar idea to these prints but they're bigger and you can actually customize them online. So you can pick the city or state coordinates you can put on there. If you have a special place with someone, you can put a quote. I believe the cheapest one I saw on there was $39. So again, it's definitely on the higher price point of this little gift guide. But if you have more of a budget for this, I think that would be a really special idea. If the person you're gifting hasn't moved or anything recently, so a print really wouldn't make sense for their place. Another idea you could get them is a movie screenplay poster. I first saw 
one in my friend Katie's apartment. So shout out to you, Katie. Your Gone with the Wind one is so freaking cute and I absolutely love that idea as a gift. Alex and I have been looking at getting one in our apartment as well because hello, we live in LA where movies are made. So I think it'd be really fitting since our theme of our apartment is really celebrating California and Los Angeles as a whole. I think this would be such a fun, unique gift idea if you have someone who's like very into movies or lives in Los Angeles, of course, it'd be really fitting. But if you have a friend that's like just diehard obsessed with Mean Girls or Dumb and Dumber or Harry Potter, like one of those movies, it would be really easy to get like a scene from a movie a screenplay printed on a poster. And I believe they're around like $25 range. You can get them just that poster or you can get like a simple frame, something that you think would match their room, I think would be really cute. And my last gift idea is just very simple, but that is a handmade gift. If you're artsy in the slightest, I don't care. You don't have to be Picasso. Like a handmade gift goes such a long way, you guys. I think the best gifts I've ever given have been handmade gifts and also vice versa. Not to get all deep here on you guys, but my classmates actually made me a homemade video like three days after my dad passed away when I was back home and left school for a little bit. And it was such a surprise. And it honestly, like my mom and my sister and I were just bawling our eyes out watching that. And I could not watch it after that for like a week because it brought up so many emotions. But every time I watch that now, like still to this day, I just lose it because it was just the sweetest thing. It was by far the most special gift I've ever received. But also like a few years ago was my friend Justine's birthday and she's very creative. She is a dancer and everything and also like loves to paint and stuff. So for her birthday, it was just something very simple and special, but I made her this little card. I got these like cards printed. This is just a blank one, but I had a bunch of extras. I had just gotten my iPad and was starting to doodle and draw and everything like digitally. So I thought it'd be fun to draw her. Like she had this photo of her right here. If I can find it, I'll pull it up. And I decided to make a digital version of that. So I drew her and then I wrote words around here that I felt like describe her, like that I would use to describe her. So I wrote, she is, independent, focused, ambitious, supportive, passionate, spiritual, loyal, positive. So I just wrote these like descriptive words around here, made it a card. And then I also, I think I gave her like a massage gift card to a really fun, trendy massage place here in LA, but she's a dancer. So I thought a massage would be well-deserved. But the actual card part, like literally cost me nothing to make at all because I just drew it. I mean, I did get this printed on like thicker paper, like cardstock, but if you just throw in some cardstock in your printer, if your printer can handle that, if you want to make someone your own print. You can do something like this, like a fun digital drawing of them or them and their dog or something. And you can just blow it up bigger. You can just get it printed at like a FedEx printing center or whatever. And it's literally not that much money at all. So I think that would be such a cute idea. And you do not have to be that artistically inclined to do something like that. But I think even if you're not that artistic and you take the time to really do something like this, that would probably mean even more to that person. So those are all of my gift ideas under $50, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some unique gift ideas for some of your friends and family this season. If you guys did like this video and you want some more gift guides here or on my blog, thecaitlinb.com, definitely give this video a thumbs up to let me know and leave me a comment down below. Let me know down below if you're gonna give any of these gifts this season. I am super interested. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a ton of gift guides on my blog, thecaitlinb.com, and they're going to be shoppable, super easy for you guys. Definitely do not forget to check out Soft Lips, such a great little gift and stocking stuffer as well that all your friends are gonna love. So definitely check that out. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next one.